So in this video, we're going to do a Thevenin resistance example. And we're going to take a simple amplifier. So we're going to take a MOSFET common source amplifier, where we've got the input here, V in, the output here, V out. And we want to calculate. So calculate, and this is a resistance RD. Uh, calculate the output resistance of this circuit. And so we know how to do that, right? So all we need to do is attach a test voltage. Uh, so let's attach, attach a test voltage Vx to the output. And what we want to do is we want to measure the current flowing through it. Um, but what about the what about the input here? Isn't that important uh, in calculating? Like, what do we do with that? Um, and the answer is we ignore it. Um, we we say that well, um, we are only interested in the Thevenin resistance when I'm applying some voltage at the output. So we implicitly assume, or we explicitly assume. Uh, all other sources or independent sources are gone. And what do I mean by gone? I mean, if they're a voltage source, uh, they turn into a voltage source of zero volts or they turn into a short circuit. Uh, so voltage source just becomes a wire. And if it was a current source, uh, then that current source just becomes a an open circuit. So there's it's it's just an empty slot. There's no current flowing through that wire. So I becomes zero, and similarly V becomes zero. So in this case, we had an input voltage V in, and so we need to get rid of it by saying that well the voltage is now equal to zero. And since V in is implicitly it implicitly looks like this. Uh, it's a wire, it's a voltage source between ground and some other location, then this just becomes a wire straight to ground. So we ground the input. Okay, uh, now how do we calculate the uh, Thevenin resistance? Well, let's, let's actually draw out the full model for the circuit. And let's say that we're going to neglect RO. So we're going to neglect the uh, the lambda term or channel length modulation of this device. And so if we draw out the small signal model, um, we see that we've got a drain resistance here, RD. And actually, let me just draw it um, almost exactly as it's drawn in the in the picture above, so that we can we can understand where everything comes from. So we've got RD, and then we've got a current source whose value is equal to GM times VGS. And then that current source goes straight to ground because it's the source of a MOSFET. And then this is our VGS. And the input here is connected straight to ground. Okay, and then the only thing we're missing is our test voltage source VX. And we want to measure the test current flowing out of it, Ix. Well, how does this, how does this dependent current source affect everything? Well, what is VGS? Uh, VGS is VG or zero volts because it's ground minus Vs, which is also zero volts. So GM, so VGS is ac actually zero. So GM times zero. Uh, so in other words, this has zero amps of current flowing through it. So we can just replace it with an open circuit. We can just delete this thing basically altogether. And so what's the current flowing through this, this branch where we've got a resistor RD? Well, uh, let's, let's redraw this so that it's a little simpler. Um, we've got VX and then we've got RD. Well, this question is ridiculously simple, right? It's, it's just the current flowing through a resistor 
uh, which you apply a voltage to. That's that's just Ohm's law, right? I is equal to V over R. So the current IX is just equal to VX divided by RD. And if we want to rearrange this VX over IX so that we can calculate the Thevenin resistance, that's just equal to RD. And we're done. So that was a way of calculating the Thevenin resistance, or in our case, the output resistance, since we're calculating the Thevenin resistance at the output, uh, since this is V out. So this is equal to R out. And this result will actually turn out to be amazingly useful. Um, amazingly useful. Because this tells us how our amplifier or how the circuit that we've just drawn out, which was recalled just this simple common source circuit, uh, we now know how this interacts with some other circuit. So say that other circuit is just a resistor, for example. So rather than redoing all of our analysis, we can just redraw this circuit um, as our two port circuit model. So we've got some input resistance R in, which for a MOSFET we know is just infinity. Some voltage VN. We've got some gain A times VN. We've got our output resistance R out. And now we're introducing this additional resistance. So let's call this RL. RL. So rather than redoing all the analysis, if we know what this A term is, and I'm just going to tell you right now, A is just equal to GM times RD. If we know what this A term is, we don't have to redo anything. We just need to say, well, if we're interested in this output voltage now V out, um, it's just a voltage divider. So it's just A times V in times R, well, sorry, uh, RL over RL plus R out. And if we write out the whole thing, oh, we're going on an adventure. Uh, if we write out the whole thing, uh, V out over V in, that's just equal to GM times RD times RL divided by RL plus RD. Uh, and this can be rewritten, if you prefer, as GM times RD in parallel with RL. And so this Thevenin resistance, this output resistance is great because now when we add components to say the output of, a, of an amplifier, rather than redoing all of the analysis, redoing all of our, all of our circuits uh, stuff, we can just place it, uh, we can just place the new element in our two port model and then calculate the output voltage from there. And you might say, well, Jordan, like obviously I can just tell uh, that this RL is going to be in parallel with this RD here. And fair enough, that's that's completely true. For this somewhat trivial example, um, we don't add a whole lot by by creating this two port model. But when we get into more complex circuits where we've got output resistances and input resistances and multiple stages to deal with, this way of doing things uh, is incredibly elegant and very powerful. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them down below. And I'll see you next time.